And we now live in a society that's so sexually imprisoned. You are not free if you cannot stop doing what you want to stop. You're a prisoner. The trouble is it's hard to see the walls of your prison when the cell is made of glass. And this has become so common in our culture, we don't see it anymore. We think we're free, but actually, we're living with anarchy inside our hearts. The trouble is, is that created things, even other people, were never designed to satisfy us. Created things in this world cannot satisfy the longings of our heart. Only God is big enough to do that. It is only when that longing is connected to Him and we find it in Him that He is actually able to meet it within us. Now here's the incredible thing. When Jesus Christ came into this world, He came to break the bondage to sin in our life and set us free to worship Him. Set us free to have relationship with Him. It is possible to find freedom in the midst of all of this. When Jesus Christ comes into our heart, into our life, He does three things. The first thing He does is He brings forgiveness. If you think Jesus doesn't know what's going in your heart and life right now, you're mistaken. God sees everything. He knows everything. So every video that you watched, every prostitute you may have visited, every person you slept with, he's seen it. He was actually there. So if you come to him and confess, hey, I've been doing this, he's not going to be surprised. He didn't go on holiday when you decided to do that. He's seen it. So when Jesus comes to each one of us and says, I'm willing to forgive you. He's not offering us forgiveness out of ignorance. He's offering us forgiveness out of knowledge. He knows exactly what we're caught up in. He knows exactly what we've been doing. And he loves us so much, he comes and says, look, I am offering you forgiveness. When Jesus Christ came into this world, the night before he was betrayed, he took a loaf of bread and he said, this is my body broken for you. And Jesus Christ went to the cross and he was broken for us. The brokenness in our hearts, in our relationships, he took on into himself. He is broken for us. He has paid the price for what we have done so he can set us free. He is offering you freedom and forgiveness as a gift. It's the most incredible thing.